Namaste. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a simple jaw clutch mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. So first of all, I am going to select the front plane. I am going to draw a sketch. The diameter of this circle is 100 mm. Click OK. Now select the top face, click sketch, press Ctrl plus 8. Click on convert entities to make the sketch as you can see the black line at the edge of the circle. Now draw a circle again. Its diameter is 25 mm. Uh, sorry, its diameter is 50 mm. Now draw two lines the angle between the two lines is 45 degree click ok after that click on trim entities trim all the necessary things that you do not want click on features click on extrude base boss Click OK, make sure the depth is 20mm and click on the merge result. Make sure merge result is tick. Now go to linear pattern, click down this arrow below the linear pattern, select circular pattern, select the base of the circle. As you can see, uh, it created 4 instances and they are in equal spacing. Make sure all your settings are, are same here. Click OK. After that, draw a shaft. You can draw the diameter of shaft as per your requirement. Let's color it. Press Ctrl plus S. Type input. Now, right click on it. Now, go to save as output now control plus n click on assembly click ok select output and click on search components click browse type input in the search documents select input SLD part ok now Select the front plane, click on sketch, press Ctrl plus 8, draw a line, now exit the sketch, click on mate, select our red the input one and sorry, select the base circle of input and click on sketch make it concentric click ok now right click on yellow one make sure it is in float as i and click on float as you can see it is float so i can move it it now if you have watched my previous videos you now understand why I am using doing float and fix commands. If you don't know, I advise you to watch my previous videos or watch the playlist mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. The link uh, description is in the link.
press F to make it in the screen. Now I have to just two, three, uh, one minute more. After that, I'm going to do motion study. Now go to advanced mates, click on distance. Now select this face and the base of this circle now 0 minimum value is 0 and right maximum value is 50 mm and make sure the distance is also 50 mm ok now click ok now let's do our simulation click on motion study now select motion analysis if you don't see motion analysis go to add scene and make sure click on solidworks motion click ok after that click on motor as i told you the red one is my input so select the motor here basically it gives my input ok and make sure the value is 100 rpm click ok after that select the yellow one click on linear motor linear motor is, is for uh, linear distance it doesn't rotate as you can see the arrow is going outward direction but i want that the arrow moves towards the red one so what i'm going to do is move downward click on reverse direction now move downwards distance 50 mm if you remember my distance mates where i put minimum value 0 and maximum value 50 and the distance from red to yellow is 50 mm because of that reason i am typing here the value 50 if you don't understand what i am saying uh, i request you move backward check out uh, how i do the distance mate uh, that is the last mate you need uh, you need to see to understand why i am typing 50 mm here now let's say the timing at which it start moving forward is 4.5 and it ends at 5 seconds click ok move the time bar up to 8 mm now downward click on calculate as you can see it moving forward now it's stop this uh, it is stopped because it is calculating here and don't worry uh, the the two parts look like mix each other but they are not okay i have done some mistake wait a minute let me check okay the mistake i have done is that i didn't select mate sorry for my mistake now click on solid, bo solid bodies use contact groups go downward select red in one box and the yellow one in another box sorry for my mistake now move downward this thing and click on calculate now it stop now as you see it's engage Let's increase the time distance. Let's say 12 seconds. Click on calculate. As you can see, it shows that it is engaged and doing the transmission of power. Now, if I want to see in the own graph, I can easily see. say angular angular velocity select magnitude select the component click ok as you can see from the graph it is zero but after engage 
fully engage its velocity increase and it remains constant you can increase the quality of the motion by increasing the frame per second let's say 82 again click on calculate as you can see it rotate very slowly it is because it is doing calculation after doing calculation you will see the motion of this is doing a very good result and the accuracy of the plot and quality of the motion is very good as you can see it looks very cool to see fully engaging a clutch in here now let's click on play here you will see it's moving and here you got engaged this look quite cool i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you comment one more thing before you close this video uh, let's the, the thing is as you can see the jaws or scale types you can make it triangular or any other type but these kind of clutches are not used the main reason is that uh, it is very uh, highly cost and maintenance cost is very high and is not cheap uh, it, you most commonly see the disc brake type clutch mechanism for example it cost you about 300 rupees or i say five dollars five dollars for a clutch pitch mechanism as compared to this is going to be very expensive the mechanism i have made so disc plate mechanism is much more prefer as compared to this the main motive my hair is only just to show that how to do a simulation and there are many other cool videos and mechanism stuff you can watch on my channel so make sure you watch it the link is in the de description thanks for watching and have a great day namaste